We're gonna go to this game tomorrow, and what I'm most excited about is going snorkeling. I've never been snorkeling before. <laughs> This is our family's adventure at Biscayne National Park. Taking two autistic kids on a boat ride to an amazing island with way too many mosquitoes. And yes, articles of clothing do get thrown into the ocean. Definitely don't make this mistake if you're at a campground where you maybe have partial hookups or no hookups, and then there's only one dump station on the way out. Don't make the mistake that we did and get stuck in a long line where you literally can't exit the park until someone dumps in front of you. It's not fun. And we make it to our campsite just in time for dinner. But these are all the sh shish kebab things that we're doing. And the pineapple that has um, brown sugar on it and orange and red peppers, the bell peppers. <gasps> these are my favorite, the mushrooms. This is the beef. It's in butter and garlic. And then here we've got our chicken. And that is marinated in one thing, guys, one thing. This, Italian dressing. No, don't touch the computer, no, 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 no. Oh, that's so nice that you're hugging me, okay. Usually hug me after you do something naughty. <laughs> I got a helper tonight to cook my shish kebabs here. It's a big old frog. Excited for our late night dinner again. You can notice here, Ezra's having a hard time with all the noise at dinner time. He's covering his ears and making his own little noises. We've tried putting headphones on him to cancel out the noise, but he won't keep them on. This, you can see, is a mosquito bite. We learned very quickly mosquitoes in Florida are relentless, especially to the younger kids. Yeah, so this dent happened while in Florida. I can't believe he fixed it. Between the RV and the van, there's something to fix almost every day of this trip. The next morning, we wake up early in time to get on our boat. Come on. Okay, do tea. We are here at Biscayne National Park Visitor Center, and we're excited because our boat ride leaves in an hour, so we have a little bit of time to do the Junior Ranger program. I really want the kids to really experience Biscayne National Park, but the only problem is 95% of it is underwater. So what that means is we need to snorkel, and we got them some gear, huh? We ordered it, it came super late, and they have not had time to even practice at all in the water. They just barely put it on in the car, um, and hopefully we can be really fast learners, right? So you guys can see the park. I really wanna see colorful fish in the center. When we get there, the kids explore the visitor center, museum, and earn their badges. Never talk back. It's not worth it. Because it's always right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys to do all those things. There we go. <laughs> but then we find out we have a big problem. They won't allow the younger kids, Simon and Ezra, on the snorkeling boat. But they informed us that we could split up. One parent could take the three older kids snorkeling, while another parent takes Simon and Ezra on another boat to visit an island with a lighthouse. Well, as much as I don't want to split up the family, we decide we don't want the younger kids to be left behind. We want them to have an adventure too, that they can enjoy. So I decide to take Ezra and Simon, my two autistic kids, on a boat ride through Biscayne National Park to visit an island and hike to the top of a lighthouse. What could go wrong? Mommy, the adventure, going with the two young ones. All by myself, two babies. Bye bye. On this boat ride, Ezra is happy on the floor of the boat under my seat. I think he likes the vibrations of the motor and it's a great place to get away from the wind. As soon as the boat starts going fast, Simon cuddles in close and falls asleep.
When we reach the island, we have to walk fast to keep up with the tour group if we want to get to the top of the lighthouse. Simon! I think it may be a little loud for Ezra, but he holds his ears and sings to himself, and he seems happy and content. It's such a beautiful view. But I can't believe how bad the mosquitoes are. I cover Simon and Ezra both with mosquito spray, but it doesn't seem to do any good. Hey, Ezra. That's not the view, Simon. It's the other way. It's over here. Alright, let's go. Let's go. You want to go down? Can I help you, Simon? You, Simon refuses help. He wants to go down by himself. I'm only two steps in front of you, though. I'll make sure you don't fall. Can I hold your hand? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're almost down. Look, Edra's down. Can you come down, too? Simon, do not go through there. <gasps> he could go through there. That's kind of dangerous. Simon, get over here. Well, this is gorgeous, as you can see. It's like a paradise. I always get bit though. And this was, I think, from one mosquito. When mosquitoes bite me, they like to bite me again and again and again. I do that with my younger kids too, with my two younger kids. Simon, I covered him with mosquito spray stuff. Like, covered him and he's got so many mosquito bites still. I don't, I don't get it. And then some people don't get bit at all. Come here, Simon. Well, we just found this little table. There's lots of tables like this to sit and eat. And there's lots of people here with their own private boats. We had a fun boat ride here. And we learned a lot about the history of the place. I am kind of curious though. I wonder how the older kids are doing with their snorkeling. Today we're here with a group of snorkelers going to hang out here at Anniversary Reef. And now it's time to get in the water. Benson jumps in before anyone else. And Marie, well, she takes her time. All right, Reef. Here you go. It's so exciting. It's clear over there. He's swimming away. She's just being scared. <laughs> you can do it. Hey. Yo. Yeah. What's your name? Marie. Marie. It's my daughter's middle name. Ah. Marie, how about this? If anything were to happen to you, I am right here and I'll jump in. <sighs> Look at that. I'm going to have my shoes and everything on and I'll jump in with my shoes and everything on. <laughs> there we go, you see? Woo! All right, put your face down and try it. There you go. There you go. How old is she? She's nine. I got a nine year old. Oh, do you? Awesome. And her middle name's Marie? That's cool. Nina Marie. All right, put your face in, Mark. Let's see it. That's why we bought those. <laughs> Everyone here is like the same. How's it going, Benz? This got a little too loose with the water straight coming in, so. Oh, we got to get it tighter? Yeah. How's it? How is it? How do you like it? It's so cool. So cool? Stuff down there? Yeah, there's like a ton of fishes. There's fishes? Yeah, there's tons of fishes. Awesome, I, think I gotta get fishes. out there then. Yeah, the plants are so cool. Underwater, the reef is so colorful and full of fish. This video really doesn't do it justice. Benson, Mark, and Marie learn quickly and take to the ocean like they were born for this. Woo, I did it! 
Can you see my dive down there? Meanwhile, back at the island. Yeah, is that where we are? What do you think, Ezra? We get back on the boat, ready to get back and join the others, and then this happens. So Ezra here threw in his sandal, and these wonderful people got it out, and then as soon as they got it out, Simon followed suit and put his sandal in. So we're trying to get his sandal out of the water right now. On the way back, I can tell the kids are tired. Simon wants to cuddle, and Ezra is suddenly very content sitting right next to me. But then we make it back to the visitor center a little wet. So we've been waiting here for about 10 minutes. And then these people walk in. And Marie says, snorkeling's my favorite sport. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but <gasps> We ran into this amazing family while we were here at this national park. So, uh, we are the Assis family. Uh, we, we are triple threat soccer. Basically, we're, we've kicked off our world tour. These four are going to be playing uh, for the U.S. futsal uh, national team, uh, playing in Argentina uh, later in August. So uh, you can follow us on Instagram at triplets.mic.soccer. Next week, we'll see if we can spot an alligator in the Everglades. I'm not nervous at all taking my two autistic toddlers to go find alligators. Okay, maybe a little bit.